Hi, it's Tim Keeley from physiorehab.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how important your brain is when you're doing stability training for your spine. We're gonna use the bird dog as a classic example of how you need to be sort of thinking about training your brain almost more than training your core to get this right. What we're aiming for is neuromuscular programming from here through your spine to try and stabilize your back and improve your core stability. Now, for Pam, what we're gonna get to trying to do is a bird dog. Now, most people do their bird dog where they just go and launch one arm, one leg, go for that Pam, and they shift. Did you, you might not have seen that, but as soon as they go one arm, one leg, they just do whatever the brain thinks and shift their body. And usually what they do is they shift their center of gravity over to the leg they're kneeling on. So they're gonna raise their left leg, they shift their center of gravity, center of gravity over to the right, not really putting any weight through this arm, and they're just trying to balance, okay? It's the whole thing about they're just trying to balance. So I just need to balance between one arm, one leg. So we're gonna break that down a little bit. What you've got to do here, the first thing, is not overextend, and so we want to make sure they're not in flexion to start with, so then they don't go into extension. We want to keep them in neutral. So it's a very subtle curve there. So that was almost needs to be looking flat for a start, your upper body needs to start not in retraction. So she doesn't want to be dropped into retraction like that. She wants to be pressed away from the floor so she's in a bit of protraction, which gives her more stability through her shoulder when she's going to start. So the, the start is pretty crucial. Get the spine in neutral. Get your upper body scapula into a bit of protraction. Make sure the head's are not dropped down, right? Just into a neutral position there. Now, the first thing she's going to work on with all these exercises is making sure her core's on. Now, that just means for her, she needs to hold a Wii, which is gonna basically give her a little bit more transverse abdominals and give her more engagement of her abdominals when she does, because she needs her abdominals to hold on and brace while she's doing this exercise, because they're the ones that are gonna help coordinate and keep her stable. So, as much as this is a core exercise, it's more of a spinal stability exercise. So, when she's in this point, she's gonna try and keep that on, Okay, she's got that right. Now she doesn't just launch into one arm, one leg. What I get people to do is just do the arm. Because they're not gonna move here if they just do the arm, all right? So if I say, okay, you're gonna put weight through your left arm, and I want you to put all the weight in your left arm, take it out of your right arm. So they basically just let their arm go. And then she hasn't moved. Now if you see them winging a little bit here, where that, so they drop down, they've gotta push this up a bit. So they just press away, and that gives them that, idea of they've got a weight bear through their arm, then that arm goes forward and they hold it there. Best thing to do, make a fist, okay? So she gets strong in there. She's got to think strong in there. Now, to get this leg, what I tell people to do is imagine if this, my fist here, is like a glass of water and it's full to the brim. So she can visualize that. This is part of the brain training going on here. She visualizes a full glass of water. What she's not allowed to do is spill it, okay? That's one thing. The second thing I wanted to do is I wanted to try and not just lift your opposite leg. What I want you to try and do is imagine there's a bridge from here. This is like a strut of a bridge. Here's the bridge crossing over from her left arm through to her right hip and then down a strut into her right knee. Okay, so she's going, she's trying to visualize the glass of water. She's trying to visualize this is a strut like a crane, when it struts out, and her right knee is a strut. And she's got to try and use her, think about using her tummy to try and, can you connect your right knee and hip through your spine using your tummy to hold your spine and connect across to your left arm, shoulder blade and hand. So it's almost like that, okay? Once she's got that and she realizes, okay, I'm weight bearing now, instead of my two knees, I'm now weight bearing through my right knee and my left hand she then just floats her leg backwards. And at that point, she's more likely to not shift because she's trusting the left arm, not just trusting the right knee. And she's less likely to hyperextend here because she's trying to balance the glass of water. So at that point there, she will then try and hold it for 10 seconds. You can come down now, that's good. All right. And so every repetition she does, she's going to alternate left and right. Okay, don't just do the same side for 10 times. Try and alternate left and right. And every setup's the same. She sort of forgets about it, resets, thinks about before she even lifts, is, am I high enough here? 
is my neutral spine correct? Am I too flexed? Do I need to drop down a little bit? All right, keep that neutral. Turn my core on here. Okay, keep that transverse abdominis engaged. Keep my foot up forward engaged here. Then I've got to raise my one up. So we're going to raise your other arm first. Yeah. Is she down here? Does she need to push through her hand a little bit more? Get that flatter. Hold it there. Then she's got to think, okay, the bridge between this knee through the hip, across in a diagonal to her right arm and down. And then she's got to engage her core, pretend there's a glass of water there, and then just slowly float the leg backwards. All right. Now, when she gets to that point, the other little tip I get people to do, just change your foot position to dorsiflexion. Think about, while she's there, pushing her heel that way. Okay, so she's trying to extend her heel out that way. That works by firing the buttocks. So if she puts, pushes her heel, she'll fire her buttock more, rather than trying to lift her leg up. I see people trying to do this sort of thing, and it extends their back. So you want the heel just below the hip, all right, not too high, and that'll turn that buttock on. The buttock's going to connect to the lower back, going to connect to the lat, which is on this side, which will give you that cross sling stability that you desperately need in your lower back for core strength, core stability. Okay, drop down again. So, just to regroup on that, making sure you're in neutral spine here and you're protracted a little bit here, your head's in the right position, and you're not trying to just one arm, one leg. Every single rep is arm first and then leg second and then hold it. You'll notice, and just bring your legs apart a little bit, you notice how with this, how much time we spend on one rep, okay, that's the key. This is a static loading exercise. So we wanna spend her time, so raise one up, opposite arm again. We wanna spend some time, she gets to use that feeling, spend, put this a bit higher, she gets the idea of putting weight down through there, she's visualizing the bridge across, the strut, and then holding on, the, the glass of water, and then float the leg, Hold it there, and then she's. Then you're going to try and sort of balance a little bit, guiding it down in the right position. So she's spending time trying to work out how do I improve my load bearing to the opposite arm, opposite leg. Push this a bit higher. Lots of curing going on here. To then give her that period of time where her brain is learning to keep this stable here, using her abdominals to connect one arm, one leg. Because hey, that's the movement we use when we walk, when we run, okay? So hopefully that's not too much brain stuff, but you can see how much this is a brain exercise, just as much as a core exercise. Hope that helps with you, your bird dogs. See you next time.